Okay. So I figured I'd do a quick video on showing the actual HRC and all the different uh, data parameters that you can adjust. Um, so you can see we're using the, the 2022 um, HRC ECU. We're using the super stock, not the super bike. And the 2020 slash 2021 data setting manual that tells you what all the different parameters are and what the different adjustments mean. Um, there's some changes to the 22. So there's actually a supplement that goes in and explains some of the changes. But um, so we're just going to burn through real quick and uh, explain what these are, I guess, individually. So you got the fuel map, fuel cylinder, fuel ignition, the secondary injector, ignition map, ignition mode. So that's something your tuner's gonna end up messing with when you bring it to the dyno. I'm not messing with any of this stuff. So the first one we get to is the throttle grip adjustment. Um, so throttle grip adjustment is how when you first turn the throttle um, low to mid RPMs, how that power is rolled on in a graph. So um, they're numbered uh, one through four, one through five. And number one, when you first turn the throttle, the graph would be basically straight up. Number two, the graph at the bottom would kind of have a little swoop and then up number four or five would be even more of a swoop and then ramping up um, so you can smooth out that initial initial throttle um, and then you see so you have three different modes on the bike when you see mode zero that's actually for launch control so i can set a whole separate map just for launch control for my throttle grip adjust my power mode and my wheelie mode so as we go through i'll show you that so um and then yeah the the blue is your slick and then purple or pink is always going to be your rain so anti-jerk would be uh per gear and that would be the on and off um how twitchy it is when you let off and then crack the throttle back on again like mid corner at the apex so you can kind of smooth it out so the lower gears you want to smooth it out a little bit and then the higher gears don't really matter engine braking mode um you've got one through let's see here one through 32 so um 32 is least engine braking one is the most engine braking and then actually the numbers um correlate with uh, how many uh, cylinders are cut the the fueling's cut so like one through five uh is going to be all the cylinders uh with the engine braking six through 10 is going to be you know three cylinders engine braking and then when you get to like 14 15 that's going to be uh, i think all the cylinders are going to be cut uh, and then we go to engine braking skid mode um, and again on that data manual you're going to actually get uh, what these numbers mean um in relation to the engine braking and then it's actually going to adjust the engine braking on the fly to allow a consistent skid so as you're backing it in into the corner it's going to hold it to however many percentage that you want that rear tire to be slower than the front tire um engine braking threshold minimum this is going to adjust uh you know by rpm um where it's actually going to start you know engaging the engine braking traction control mode we have uh again you know your three modes a whole bunch of different settings and what they all mean obviously the lower the numbers the least intrusive the higher the numbers the the more intrusive it's going to be so traction effect level, same thing. You're gonna have to refer back to the data manual about what the different numbers are gonna mean. Then you've got target slip offset. So um, 
per your um, throttle input, you know, when you're back up at 100% throttle, um, you can actually have the traction control, you know, roll on a little harder um, to the positive. And then actually in the lower gears, you can take away some traction um, or that threshold of when it kicks in. So you've got one through four, and then traction level offset is actually what these are going to be. So whatever you make here through one, two, three, four, that's what you're going to input into here. And then you have slide rate control mode. Um, so this is how much it's gonna allow the rear tire to slide uh, before it starts cutting power. Then you got slide rate control trigger. Um, that's gonna be per gear. And then you've got your slide rate control base settings um, and again, you can have, you can set four different modes and then go back to SRC mode and actually put in those different modes that you made. So SRC base setting. So different gears we have, you know, a little more per lean angle, uh, a little more slide control as the bike leans over. So wheelie mode. Um, you know, again, bunch of different numbers. The data setting manual will show you what all these numbers mean. But here you can see we actually have a zero column. So when I'm in launch control, that's what the wheelie control is going to give me. Then you've got your um, auto blipper, quick shifter in different settings, um, turning like the quick shifter on or the auto blipper on or off. If you're using the HRC um, SP, uh, strain gauge um, and then if you want to change from uh, standard shift to GP shift and then you got the shift threshold uh, this is just how many volts before it actually makes the shift for you now you've got upshift um, upshift assist I guess the quick shifter assist so you can actually reduce the torque as you're going through the gears, you can set it up um, so it's a little smoother mid corner and then uh, torque recovery as well after it makes uh, the shift. How quick does it roll power back on? And then you've got downshift, um, same thing. So you've got like engine braking after the downshift, um, blipping the throttle, uh, you know, per RPM. So you can kind of smooth out your quick shifters. Sprocket, obviously you have to change your sprocket uh, numbers whenever you change the gearing so everything works and plays together. So the tire um, circumference. So you can either set it by the diameter or you can actually make a map. So I have mine set by diameter, but what I'm gonna try to do is from the manufacturer, you can actually get um, so as you're leaned over to 60 degrees, obviously the tire uh, circumference changes. So you can actually input as you lean the bike over how much it's going to change and what the actual circumference will be, um, you know, at 45, 60 degree lean. And then even actually at so many RPMs or wheel speed. So obviously as the wheel spins more, you know, it's actually going to grow a little bit the faster it spins around. So... I haven't got into any of that yet. I would have to get this data from Dunlop. Power modes, uh, again, you can see I got a zero column. So this will be the power modes just on launch control. And then you got your regular one, two, three, and different numbers. And it's just how it rolls the power on. Um, there's basically uh, in a lot of the, like the, the power mode um, and the throttle grip or whatever, you know, there's like three different columns and then there's number like one through 10 is column one, which is an aggressive throttle. And then 11 through 20 is a mild throttle. And then uh, 21 through 30 is a dumbed down throttle. And then if you put in 31 in all these boxes, it's a one to one throttle. Um, and then so one through 10 is aggressive. 10 would be, um, I think it cuts 20% power, you know, like eight would be cutting 15% power, six would be uh, cutting 
you know, 8% power. And then obviously one would be your full power with an aggressive throttle. Um, like I said, 11 through 20 would be like a standard or mild throttle and same thing. Um, 12 would be cutting the most, or I'm sorry, like 19, 20 would be cutting, you know, 20%. Um, and then yeah, 21 through 30 is, uh, is kind of like a rain mode. It ramps up the power very gradually. And then uh, you can pick a number and actually set exactly how much power you want to send uh, per gear and all of that. So fuel counter, we're not gonna mess with this. This is if, um, you know, the bike kind of figures out how much fuel it's using for you when you do like the lap timer. So. You can kind of offset that if you need to, so that can be pretty exact. So you can actually go by those measurements. Your start mode, launch control, you can set it at how many RPMs it sits at, and then at what gear, once you shift out of that gear, it will shut off the launch control. Rev cut, rev limiter, you can do it per gear. Pit lane, it's in kilometers. You can set your pit lane speed limiter. Then your uh, steering damper. So you can make your little chart here. So um, you've got like consistent, how your steering damper is all the time. And then you have on acceleration. So when you're getting on the throttle, you can actually have the steering damper be even a little stiffer. And then you can actually go in to steering damper and you can do set in this tool which is the little graph that we just made, or you can do the factory default one, two, or three, or you can shut it off and use uh, Olin's manual damper. Then you've got your X2 lap timer. If you got sectors, um, you can actually fill out a number and have your sectors displayed on the dash, mode B. Kind of explained that in the last video. Um, where you know you got buttons to switch between mode one two and three but then you can actually switch a couple of things one thing or, or a couple of them to mode b and you can change those separately um i'd have to be on the bike to show you exactly and then your speed ring um so we're using a 60 which is the stock speed ring on the bike i think the super bikes use a 50 pulse which is weird it actually has a bigger bigger notches around the speed ring on the front and rear tires. Um, I don't know how that's more accurate, but anyway, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of a rundown um, on what all the settings are. You know, I've got kind of a base map in here already set, so we'll see how that all works. I gotta get it on the dyno and actually get the fueling. But uh, yeah, so there's your 2022, you know, full suite HRC setup settings what everything does what this bike is capable of um if you want to go hrc you know paul kingsburg kcs ecu solutions um he is a hrc dealer he can get you here in the states whatever you need hrc um and he's got actually pretty competitive pricing he's a great guy knowledgeable so yeah all right thanks bye